Hey, what's going on guys? Sean here, living the corporate pilot life. I'm hanging out at home right now, still living the coronavirus life, I think is the, the best appropriate term. But uh, I'm about to head out here and I've got to take the Corvette out right here behind me. And uh, I've been teasing you guys for a little while now and taking you guys for a ride. So I figured why not make it today? It's a little cloudy, a little overcast out here. So I hope the rain uh, holds off. There's no top on the car. So uh, if it rains, I'm getting wet. So uh, give me just a couple minutes here, strap some cameras on here and uh, let's go for a little ride. This thing warm up just a little bit. Okay. Tight squeeze. Hopefully the uh, wind isn't too bad. Hopefully you guys are able to hear me a little bit. I gave you guys a little bit of details on this car on a previous video, but uh, I bought this car when I was 14 years old. I spent about six years with my dad and uh, friends and family members, of course, trying to rec restore the car. We brought it up to what it is now. Um, spent, like I said, six years and countless dollars, Christmas presents, birthday presents, you name it. This is all I wanted was parts for the car. So, uh, so yeah, we've got the, uh, got the car running. It runs pretty good. Got a 383 stroker motor in it. So uh, never been dyno tuned, but we're estimating somewhere maybe a little shy of 500 horsepower or something like that. But, uh, but yeah, it runs really good. Got a lot of torque to the motor. Traction is, uh, is not my friend. So, uh, so yeah, take the car out every now and then, go for a little cruise. Uh, I did take it down to the office here a few weeks ago. So I uh, had, a, had a nice show down there. But, uh, but yeah, so let's, uh, let's go hit the road for a little bit, show you guys how this thing runs. A couple questions that uh, you guys have asked me over here the past few weeks. Um, one, the uh, CPL swag I still have available on the website if you guys are interested in picking up a little bit of uh, CPL merchandise, uh, livecpl.com, it's in the description below. Uh, you can get some hats, t-shirts, lanyards, you name it. As long as USPS is still running, I will ship it out to you guys as soon as I can. So uh, yeah, definitely I would appreciate uh, moving some of that merchandise, but uh, I know right now money's tight for everybody, so I get it. Another question that I've been asked here lately is about the Citation 10. You guys saw the Citation 10 video, it went out and uh, went out to a pretty good reception it seemed like. Um, but a lot of people have asked me if I'm going to be getting typed in that thing anytime soon. It's not on the plan right now. It's been joked about a little bit, but uh, hasn't come up uh, as, a, as a realistic option. I'm already flying the two airplanes, the Hawker and the Gulfstream. And on a 135 certificate, you can only fly two, uh, two airplane types uh, for a 135. So I can't go to school on another one and you know fly them all, basically. So right now, I'm still flying the Hawker and the Gulfstream. Uh, if something comes up where I need to fly another one, I can drop one of those two and, and fly a, a different one. But right now I'm sticking with those. I do have some bigger and better plans for uh, for something else to fly. Still at Alarion, I'm not leaving Alarion, but uh, fingers crossed that something else comes through that uh, is in the works. Can't, can't fill you guys in just yet, but we will see. Now, before you guys beat me up too hard about the uh, the transmission on this, obviously you guys can tell it's an automatic transmission. It is a four-speed automatic with overdrive. It's a, uh, a newer transmission than what orig originally came in this car. Um, there are a few reasons for the uh, automatic transmission. One, it's way faster than a manual. I mean, if anybody knows race cars, automatics are the way to go. This one's very well built to shift very quick, very hard, and you guys will see that here in a few minutes. Um, Another reason, if you can see off this camera right here, there's really not much room to work a clutch over here. Because of the dash that I put into this car, there's really not much room for a clutch uh, to work that pedal. Because of the steering wheel and the dash, it's very tight. So the automatic made it a lot easier. And then the third reason is this car is kind of built for uh, for cruising around town and you know showing uh, showing off a little bit. But uh, you know it, it's not like I'm trying to cram gears and you know go screaming around. So it's just easier in traffic. 
it's much simpler. So yeah, automatic is definitely uh, my preference and obviously it works really well in the car. Engine's almost warmed up to temperature here. It likes the cold air, but it doesn't like the cold oil. So we're almost up to temperature. I'm gonna jump on the freeway here in a couple minutes. I gotta run up a uh, couple exits. So hopefully the wind noise isn't too bad where you guys won't be able to hear anything. But uh, yeah, hopefully we can get a little open road going ahead here in a few minutes. Before you guys start typing at me here, I'm gonna have to take my hat off when we get on the freeway because the, uh, the wind will rip this hat right off. Yes, my hair is long, and yes, I have massive bald spots on the front. Please don't make fun of me too bad. Maybe just a little bit. looks clear. You can see I had to lift a couple times. The uh, traction is just uh, not good on this car. It's got a lot of torque. It's got fairly wide tires, nine and a half inch on the back, but it's still just not enough. I'm gonna upgrade to uh, a little bit stickier tires here soon, but uh, not quite there yet. limiter on this car is set at about 6700 rpms I try not to get above 65 when I can usually keep it under that the motor is really well built it's an extremely strong motor but uh, why push it any farther than you really have to it still pulls hard at 65 but like I said if I'm not uh, desperate for those last 200 rpm 65 is my personal number local Floridian all right so that's the uh, that's the car in a nutshell I, uh, I really enjoy the car I love taking it out like I said it sits in the garage quite a bit but uh, I try and get it out every now and then at least once a month or so 
Uh, it was down for the brake upgrade here a few months back, and that was about six months running where it was just sitting in the garage. But, uh, but the brakes are working fantastic now. I really love the new setup. Um, so if you guys have any questions, any of you guys want to up upgrade your brake systems on your hot rods, it's uh, a hydro boost system. Uh, you can send me a direct message or uh, uh, send me an email, corporatepilotlife at gmail.com. I'll give you some details on, uh, on the uh, real specs of it. But, uh, but it works great now. And uh, like I said, I love getting it out every now and then. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully you uh, like the, the ride as much as I do, almost probably. Uh, so uh, definitely give me a, a thumbs up if you like it. Subscribe if you're new. I got some new content coming out. I'm going to do some, uh, some different kind of videos here coming up. I got some uh, random stuff, some new thoughts and some suggestions from uh, some random people out there. So, uh, so yeah, definitely stick around with me and uh, we will see you guys on the next one. Keep living the corporate pilot life. See ya.